Six Sigma, Lean and TQM are all concerned with making continuous changes on both a large and small scale that bring an organization ever closer to a model of perfection. In the case of Lean, that model is a process that has zero waste. In Six Sigma, the model is statistically Six Sigma. In TQM, organizations often define their own version of perfection before working toward it. Business Process Reengineering or BPR, is less concerned with incremental quality wins and more concerned with a radical change across an entire organization or process architecture. Business process re-engineering, which is also called business process redesign, is most often concerned with the technical processes that occur throughout an organization. Those processes might include systems, software, data storage, cloud and web processes and computer-based workflows operated and maintained by human users. Because of the intense integration of automation and computer elements into processes with BPR, organizations that enter BPR endeavors have to rely heavily on both inside and outside technical resources. Inside resources provide programming, integration, and troubleshooting services as processes are developed or redesigned. Outside resources can be BPR consultants contracted programmers and developers, or vendors bringing new software products to the table. As you can probably imagine, BPR initiatives can be costly, which is why they are often deployed only when an organization expects exponential gain or has determined that current processes are obsolete or badly broken. BPR projects tend to follow a common map, though there isn't a defined set of principles as there is with Six Sigma. Most projects go through planning design, and implementation phases. During planning, teams use process mapping and process architecture principles to define enterprise-wide processes in their current state. Teams look for opportunities for improvement and brainstorm new architectures for processes throughout the organization. During the design phase, BPR teams use validation techniques to ensure solutions they are planning will work within the enterprise structure. They also begin to build tools and programs to integrate the changes. Technical teams might use the Scrum methods described later in this course at this point in the process. Finally, organizations implement the changes they have made. Since changes are often programmatic in nature, implementation usually includes a rigorous change management and testing procedure. Testing in technical environments includes steps such as sandbox testing of basic functionality quality assurance testing by trained technical resources, beta testing during which experienced subject matter experts vet all aspects of a program in a limited live environment, a rollout of the program to the enterprise, often conducted in a phased approach during which technical resources are on call to immediately resolve troubleshooting issues, a conversion to regular function where technical resources are available in a normal capacity to deal with occasional issues.